Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Suplex Network here coming back at you again for another video and today I want to discuss MJF's AEW Championship reign and where I see it going from now on into the future and who I think is going to dethrone MJF. Now, I know what you're thinking, MJF only just won the belt, so why are you trying to look past his reign and look into the future? Well, no, that's not what I'm doing. Honestly, I hope MJF holds this championship for the next year or two, maybe even longer. I feel like he has got the ability on the mic, in the ring. He is second to none when it comes to professional wrestling at the moment. I see him holding this championship, I hope, for a long time, putting the company on his back because, like, he has got what it takes to be the next big thing, the top star of AEW. I don't want him to have a short reign. I don't want it to be just like a transition into building another star. I want MJF to be that star that they have built. As you can see, you don't know, MJF, you, the list of current or former AEW champions is huge. You got Chris Jericho, the first champion, John Moxley, Kev, Kenny Omega, Hangman Page, CM Punk, Moxley again, CM Punk again, and then Moxley a third time, and now MJF, so it's a, quite a list of star-started wrestlers, and I think MJF is very suitable to be in that list, in that category, and hold the championship for a long time, but now I've got four people who I think should be the ones when the time is right now, a, a big when the time is right now. Don't think I want this to happen right now. I want this to happen in a few years. Build these guys up because you're going to see the four guys who I think should be next in line to the top of the mountain in AEW. So first on my list is Jungle Boy Jack Perry. Now we just seen him put on an amazing performance and get the victory over longtime friend and now rival... Luchasaurus in a steel cage match at full gear, an exciting match. Jack Perry, he's proven to himself that he can be, win the big one. He can go singles and win a great match. He done that against Luchasaurus, and now giving him the name, like his name, Jack Perry, kind of makes him more of a a more serious character, a more serious persona. You know, he was just Jungle Boy, and he was acting like a boy from the jungle. You know, eating bugs out of people's hair, but now like. He's got his name as Jack Perry, like his real name, and then he's got just the Jungle Boy as like a nickname, a moniker. So I see this being a big push for Jungle Boy, and I can see him going eventually before towards that AEW Championship. Yeah, he is a smaller guy. He's not jacked like a lot of the other wrestlers, like a world champion should be, should be in quotation marks of the old era, like the big body Hulk Hogan and whatnot. But I think Jack Perry has the charisma. He's got the fans behind him. He's got, he's got what it takes to win that championship. Now I don't think he would be a guy that would hold the championship for like six years or whatever, like Roman Reigns or how I think MJF should hold it. But I think he would have a nice reign on top, kind of a. Underdog story, somewhat how the WWE did Daniel Bryan's underdog story, the WrestleMania, WrestleMania 30. So I think Jungle Boy could do a quite a nice story, and it'd be fitting for him to be MJF, like the pillars, the four pillars of MJ of AEW. It would be quite fitting to build towards the future of AEW. Next on this list is another AEW homegrown talent. It is Darby Allen, another guy that is smaller framed, a smaller stat statured guy. But this guy, Darby, you know he he although he's not the biggest guy, he makes up for it with his just ability and like fearless athleticism. He is a crazy son of a gun, and I think him and MJF they had a great match. I believe earlier on this year or last year, there was an, a phenomenal match. Probably top three AEW matches I've ever seen of all time. So Darby, you know he's in line. You know he's going to have an AEW championship reign in the future as long as he doesn't get cancelled. So who knows? Darby Allen and MJF would have a great, great feud for the title. I see it happening soon, to be fair. But I don't think Darby will win it unfortunately, within the next year or so. But I think that he would be a great fit to be the next one to knock off MJF. The third person on this list is different from the other two. It is Eddie Kingston. 
Now, Eddie Kingston gets mixed reviews from the internet wrestling community. Some people love him, some people hate him, but, you know, it would be a good fit putting the World Championship on him after MJF. You know, they're completely different styles. MJF's very technical and he can he's very gifted in the ring. Eddie Kingston, you know, he doesn't really use that that same ability and technique that MJF does, but he hits hard, he's stri- he's a good striker, he's a good brawler, so I think he would be a nice fit on the top of the mountain of AEW. There's not really much I can touch on for this. I just think it, it would make sense for a storyline. You know, Eddie Kingston and John Moxley, we know how close they are as best friends. You could even turn Kingston heel once he wins the belt, do MJF, I mean, do Moxley versus Eddie Kingston. That would be kind of sick. And then the fourth and final person on this list is kind of just a safe, a safety net, if you will. And it is Kenny Omega. You know, Kenny is a former champion and Let's be real, he was the best AEW champion we've seen, and he's the best wrestler in the world on the planet right now. I think him and MJF would be phenomenal. It would make fireworks, but that's just like a safety net. It's not really trying to push the boundaries as you would with Jungle Boy or Darby making new stars. It's kind of just falling back onto relying on an already established top guy in Kenny Omega, so... Of the four people, honestly, I would have Kenny at the number four on the list. I'd rather see Jungle Boy or Derby winner. Eddie Kingston probably, you know, around that same level as Kenny. But yeah, those are the four guys that I think could be the next one to step up to the throne and defeat MJF. Let me know in the comments down below who do you think is going to take over the throne after MJF. Hopefully, MJF has a nice, lengthy reign as top, which he deserves. But yeah, let me know who you think will be next. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Until next time, this is your boy, Suplex Network, signing off. Peace.